There is nothing better than a brand new home. I'm going to share with you the real stuff you need to know when you're buying a new construction home. And we're going to go over the pros and cons of buying new construction. My name is Karen Jackson with John L. Scott Real Estate. Thank you so much for watching. So the biggest pro is everything is brand new and clean. It is so fun to have new. Many times you get to pick out your colors even and your upgrades and all your finishes. That's if you purchase early enough. A con, the closing date is not firm. You will need to have some flexibility in your schedule. I have seen the completion date move by five months sometimes. That is a long time to be waiting. You and your lender have to accommodate the builder's completion date, whether it is late or early. If you need to extend the date, that is a completely different story. You cannot extend your date without permission from the builder, and sometimes there's a cost involved with that. So be sure you have a place to live during the build process with a flexible move date. And you need to have a lot of patience because it's so hard to wait sometimes. Pro, since everything is new, that means you won't have any huge repairs for years. The roof and the siding is new, the paint is new. The only items you should have to fix are what you want to change for your pleasure. Con, the list price is not typically the sales price. Many builders offer a base model home for the list price with the vinyl and the laminate. It's still beautiful, but the model home you look at is filled with upgrades. There are some builders who include many upgrades, but there are some that don't. After you write an offer, you get to go to the design center to pick out your colors and finishes. This is where you pick your upgrades. Most people put a minimum of $20,000 in upgrades into a home some even much more. So if you're looking at new construction, you may want to look a little below your price range to leave room for upgrades. If you do purchase upgrades, many times you have to pay for a certain percentage of them up front. This is so the builder doesn't get stuck with paying for those upgrades or have an upgrade that they don't really want in a house if for some reason your loan doesn't get approved and you don't close on the home. It is a protection for the builder. Keep watching to the end. There are still more pros and cons to go over. Also, be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. So this next one can be a con or a pro. Many times homes are sold as a pre-sale, which means they are selling the home prior to it being built. Sometimes they haven't even broke ground yet or gotten the permit. The good part of this is that you get to pick everything out. The hard part is you have to wait. It could be three to six months before you can move in, sometimes even longer. During this time, you have to be very cautious of what you are spending on your credit cards and what you're spending in general. You need to be sure you can still qualify for your loan in the end, and sometimes that's six months away. Another advantage to this is when you have a home to sell. This gives you some time to get your home on the market and sold. Another pro, is there is not as many multiple offers and many builders will accept an offer based on a home contingency where you have to sell your home first. The resale market can be very frustrating for a buyer sometimes with multiple offers and no contingencies. Don't get me wrong, new construction still sells very quickly depending on which development you're looking at. Con, landscaping is not always included. Most builders do basic landscaping in the front but many times the backyard is your responsibility. It comes as dirt and rocks. Con, many items that you think would be standard are not usually included. For example, a garage door opener, the backyard, blinds, a refrigerator, washer and dryer, designer paint colors, and a fence. You will want to be sure to get a list of standards and upgrades up front. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions regarding new construction or real estate in general, please put a comment below. I'd be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.